on this is still mathematics 9 and then in this video we're going to discuss the equations transformable into quadratic equations so our objective for this lesson uh, this module focuses on equations that can be transformed into quadratic equations so these equations may be presented in different forms just like what we discussed from uh, lesson number one, this means that the process of transforming these equations also differs. So we're going to use here different properties so that we could transform a particular equation into its standard form. So after transforming these equations into quadratic equations, their roots can be solved using any of the four methods that we have discussed from the previous videos. These methods in solving quadratic equations are extracting square roots, factoring, the completing the square, or they are through the use of the quadratic formula. Okay, so we're going to transform those equations, transformable into quadratic equations, using the different methods like distributive property and the FOIL method. So let us now apply the different properties so that we could uh, write each equation into its standard form so going back with the standard form of a quadratic equation the standard form is given by a x squared plus b x plus c equal to zero so our objective is to write the equation into its standard form or the quadratic equation into the standard form ax squared plus bx plus c equal to zero for us to be able to solve it easily. Okay, so in example number one, we are given x quantity x plus 4 equal to 21. So in this case, we're going to apply the distributive property wherein we're going to distribute this x outside the parenthesis to each term inside the parenthesis. So we're going to apply the distributive property. So applying the distributive property, we're just going to multiply x and x. So that is x squared, followed by x times 4. That is positive 4x equal to 21. After that, since we're going to write it into standard form, we're going to use the addition property of equality para mailipat natin itong positive 21. Pero para mas madaling paraan, nililipat lang natin yung positive 21 sa other side of the equation. So, since positive siya dito, pag nilipat natin, magiging negative na siya. So, our new equation will become x squared plus 4x minus 21 equal to 0. Ngayon, pag naka-standard form na siya, we are ready to solve the quadratic equation. So, quadratic equation na siya ngayon kasi the highest exponent is 2, kung matatandaan natin from lesson 1. Okay, so, I think it is easy for us to use the factoring method here, pero uh, Kung ano yung komportable sa inyong gamitin, dun sa apat na method na naituro natin from the previous video, kayo po ang bahala. Pero in this particular uh, example, we could actually use the factoring method. So, equal to zero. So, we will create two binomials here. So, we get the factor of x squared. So, that is x and x. Tapos kuha ka tayo ng factor ng negative 21 na kapag kinumbay natin, lalabas is positive 4. So most probably that is positive 7 and negative 3. So let us check muna, no? So when we multiply positive 7 and negative 3, we will get negative 21. And then if we combine the two, positive 7 and negative 3, positive, positive 7 minus 3 is positive 3. So, pag meron na tayong factors, so this is correct. The factors of x squared plus 4x minus 21 equal to 0 is x plus 7 and x minus 3. So, using the zero product property in factoring, we're going to uh, solve the two linear equations separately. So, we have x plus 7 equal to 0 
And then the other one, we have x minus 3 equal to 0. So by that, kukunin uh, lang natin yung x sub 1. So positive 7 lang naman yan. Lipat lang natin sa other side. So magiging negative 7. So that will be our first solution or root. And then the other one for x sub 2. Para naman sa x minus 3, lipat lang natin yung negative 3. So that is positive 3. So therefore, the solutions or the roots of the given equation x, quantity x plus 4, equal to 21 is negative 7 and positive 3. Okay, let us proceed with the second example. In here, we are given quantity 2x plus 3 times quantity x plus 1 equal to 10. So obviously, we're going to use the FOIL method here. So, we multiply first 2x and x. So, multiplying that, we have 2x squared. Followed by, that is, those are the first terms. The outer terms are 2 and 1. So, we multiply 2x times 1. So, that is positive 2x. And then, we have the inner terms. 3 times x. So, that is positive 3x. And then the last terms, positive 3 and positive 1. So that is positive 3 equal to 10. And then after that, we combine like terms and transform it into standard form. So copy 2x squared. So wala naman siya kaparehas. And then you combine yung mga linear term natin dito, yung 2x, positive 2x and positive 3x. So add natin kasi same sign naman sila. So that is positive 5x. Then you copy positive 3. And then makikita nyo may constant term sa other side. Lipat lang natin. So magiging negative 10. Equal to 0. Kasi wala nang natira. Tapos meron pa tayo i-combine. Basta may i-combine, i-combine muna natin. Itong mga dalawang constant terms. So copy muna yung 2. Copy natin yung 2x squared and positive 5x and then positive 3 minus 10 is negative 7 equal to 0 so in this manner um, para ma ma recall din natin gamitin natin yung quadratic formula so kung matatandaan natin ang quadratic formula is given by x equal to negative b plus and minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So using the quadratic formula, get the values of a, b, and c dito sa standard form natin, which is 2x squared plus 5x minus 7 equal to 0. So this is already a uh, quadratic equation in standard form. So we are ready to get the values of a, b, and c. So, A is 2. So recall natin. B is the coefficient of the linear term, positive 5. And then, C is the constant term, negative 7. So, pag may value na tayo ng A, B, and C, substitute na natin dito sa quadratic formula. Okay, so that is now X equal to negative quantity 5 for our B. So, mayroon dito negative plus and minus square root of 5 squared minus 4 times 2 times negative 7. Substitution lang yan. All over 2 times 2. After that, simplify natin. So negative times 5 is negative 5 plus and minus square root of, so 5 times 5 is 25, 5 squared. So negative 4 times 2 is negative 8, negative 8 times negative 7 is positive 56, all over 2 times 2 is 4. Then proceed tayo dito. Uh, continue tayo, we have negative 5 plus and minus Square root of 25 plus 56 is 81 over 4. 
Tapos, continue lang natin get the square root of 81 kasi perfect square yan. So, copy negative 5 plus and minus square root of 81 is 9 all over 4. Pakapaganyan na siya. Uh, Pag-ibalayin na natin yan. So, we will have x sub 1. Yung nagagamitin natin is yung addition. So, we have negative 5 plus 9 over 4. Tapos, yung x sub 2 natin, gagamitin natin yung subtraction naman. So, we have negative 5 minus 9 over 4. So, simplify muna natin x sub 1. Numerator is negative 5 plus 9. So, that is positive 4 over 4. Copy. And then simplify, 4 divided by 4 is 1. So the first root or the solution is 1. And then for our x sub 2, simplify, negative 5 minus 9 is negative 14 over 4. So get the lowest term, divide lang natin sa 2. That is their greatest common factor, ang numerator and the denominator. Kapag na-divide na, lowest term, Negative 7 over 2. Okay, so therefore the solutions of quantity 2x plus 3 times quantity x plus 1 equal to 10 are positive 1 and negative 7 over 2. Okay, so let's have our third example. We are given quantity x plus 1 quantity squared plus x minus 3 quantity squared equal to 16. So we're just going to simplify this square binomials and we're going to expand it into a perfect square trinomial. So recalling those things, we're just going to get uh, the square of the first term and then uh, the product of the first and the second term multiplied by 2 and then the square of the last term. So this will become x squared okay, let's use blue okay so we have x squared plus 2x plus 1 so that is the transformation of this the perfect square trinomial and then you copy the addition and then we transform again x minus 3 quantity squared into its perfect square trinomial. So this will become x squared minus 6x plus 9 equal to 16. So after that, we combine like terms. We arrange first the terms. So nine natin yung mga quadratic terms. So we have x squared plus x squared. So okay, copy lang natin. Followed by the linear terms, we have positive 2x saka yung negative 6x. And then after that, we have the constant terms naman. Ayan yung positive 1, positive 9. So yung 16, pwede na natin ilipat to the other side. So magiging minus 16 equal to 0. Ayan. So wala na kasi natira doon. And then combine na natin mga like terms. So we have x squared plus x squared. We have 2x squared. And then 2x minus 6x for the linear term naman. We have negative 4x. And then for the constant terms, positive 1 plus 9 is 10. 10 minus 16 is negative 6 equal to 0. So, para mas mapadali natin yung pag-solve, although this is already in standard form, pag nakita natin, pwede namang i-divide ang whole equation in one number like this. So, yung 2, 4, and 6 can be divided by 2. So, pwede natin i-reduce or paliitin. Okay, so pag divide natin by ito yung buong equation, this will become 2 divided by 2. So, 1 na lang yan, x squared na lang. Tapos copy, minus 4 divided by 2 is 2, copy x. Then negative 6 divided by 2 is negative 3, equal to 0. So, mas maliit na siya, pwede na natin yung i-factor ng mas madali. So, that is x times x. Then we have negative 3 
and positive 1. So that is negative 3 times positive 1 is negative 3. And then negative 3 plus 1 is negative 2. So kapag okay na, solve na natin separately in dalawang linear equation. So that is x minus 3 equal to 0 and x plus 1 equal to 0. So to get x sub 1, lipat lang natin yung negative 3, so that is positive 3. So that will be our first solution, our root. And then for to get x sub 2, lipat lang natin itong positive 1. So this will become negative 1. So therefore, the solutions of the given x plus 1 quantity squared plus quantity x minus 3 quantity squared equal to 16 are positive 3 and negative 1. So those are the equations uh, transformable into quadratic equations. So sa unang tingin, hindi siya mukhang quadratic equation, pero pag transform natin into its standard form, uh, we will get a quadratic equation. So another part of this lesson are the rational equations. So there are rational equations that can be transformed into a quadratic equation. So we could also use our knowledge in simplifying uh, rational equations and then we will we will be able to create a quadratic equation from that. And of course, do not forget to write the equation into its standard form. Okay, let's have the fourth example. This is now an example of a rational equation. So to recall, a rational equation is an equation that can be written in the form A over B or a fraction. Okay, so that is A over B. So in this case, in example number 4, we are given 6 over X plus X minus 3 over 4 equal to 2. So all we have to do, the first thing that we have to do to simplify this rational equation is to get its LCD. So all we have to do is to multiply the LCD. So we have x and 4 and then we multiply the 2 so that x times 4. So that is for x. So after getting the LCD, we are going to multiply the whole equation by for x. So multiplying the equation by 4x, so if we have a denominator like this, okay, the first thing that we need to do is to divide the LCD to its original denominator and then multiply it to the, to the numerator. So that is 4x divided by x. So cancel na yung x natin, ang natira is 4, and then multiply to the numerator. So 4 times 6 is 24. So, ang susulat na lang natin dito is 24. And then, you copy the addition sign. Next, sa second fraction tayo, divide naman yung 4x dun sa denominator. So, 4x divided by 4, ang matitira na lang is x. Susulat natin. Times the numerator, that is x minus 3. Equal to, so multiply natin, Dahil wala naman tong ano, wala naman tong denominator. Mumultiply lang natin yung LCD sa kanya. So 4x times 2 is 8x. Okay? So kung okay na wala nang denominator by doing that, natanggal natin yung denominator. So simplify na natin. Copy muna ang 24 plus and then apply distributive property x times x is x squared and then x times negative 3 is negative 3x okay so pwede nyo na yung lipat tong 8x to the other side so magiging negative 8x equal to 0 so arrange muna natin mauna yung uh, in standard form mauna yung quadratic term so positive x squared followed by the linear terms, negative 3x and negative 8x, plus, ayan, positive 24, equal to 0. So, combine lang natin yung dalawang nakikita natin na linear term. So, copy muna x squared. Negative 3x minus 8x is negative 11x, plus 24, 
equal to 0. So, ito ay pwede na natin i-factor. So, we have two binomials. So, we have x times x. So, get the factors of positive 24. Na kapag uh, kinambay natin, makuha natin is negative 11 or yung nasa middle term. So, the factors of 24 are pwedeng negative 8 and negative 3. Kasi pag minultiply natin yan, negative 8 times negative 3 is positive 24. Tapos pag kinambay natin, negative 8 minus 3 is negative 11. Okay na. So, kung okay na yung factors, solve them separately na. So, you have x minus 8 equal to 0 and x minus 3 equal to 0. After that, get x sub 1. Ipat natin negative 8. Positive 8 na siya. So, that is the first solution. Tapos, sa x minus 3 naman, for x sub 2, lipat lang natin yung negative 3. That will now become positive 3. So, therefore, class, the, the solutions for the given rational equation, 6 over x plus x minus 3 all over 4, equal to 2 or positive 8 and positive 3. Three. So, as you can see from a rational equation, we transform it into a quadratic equation. So, that is one of the part of this lesson, uh, equations transformable to quadratic equations. So, let's have the last example for the rational. So, in this example number 5, we are given x plus 8 over x minus 2 equal to 1 plus 4x over x minus 2. So, as you can see, katulad kanina, magkaiba kasi yung yung denominator. So, minultiply natin. So, in this case, same denominator lang naman. So, isa lang din yung gagamitin natin, which is x minus 2. So, pag parehas naman ng denominator, kunin nyo lang yung denominator. Plus, isa lang. Kaya lang kanina minultiply natin yung dalawa, yung 4 and x, kasi magkaiba sila. So, 4 times x is 4x. So, dito, same lang naman yung denominator. So, kunin lang natin yung x minus 2. So, proceed tayo with simplification. As you can see now, basta lahat ng walang denominator, imumultiply nyo lang yung LCD. So, yung divi dividing and multiplication naman, i-apply lang natin siya dun sa may mga denominator. So, may x tayo dito, walang denominator. So, multiply lang natin yung x minus 2 or yung LCD. So, ayan yung LCD natin. So, pwede namang wag muna para organize tayo mamaya. Gawin nyo muna x times x plus 2. Ano, ah, no, no. x minus 2 pala. Wait lang. So, the LCD is x minus 2. Okay? Plus, yan, copy. So, dahil denominator siya, divide lang. x minus 2 divided by x minus 2, 1 na lang. Tapos, multiply to the numerator. 1 times 8 is 8. Equals, oh, 1 lang yan. So, multiply x minus 2. So, ganun pa rin. x minus 2. Copy ulit. Plus, Oh, may denominator, divide muna sa denominator. x minus 2 divided by x minus 2 is 1. Multiply to the numerator. 1 times 4x is 4x. Ayan. Simplify muna natin to using the distributive property. So, x times x is x squared. And then, x times negative 2 is negative 2x plus 8 equal to so pwede na natin pagsamahin yung dalawang linear term dito x plus 4x tapos followed by the constant term simplify lang muna natin ulit x squared minus 2x plus 8 tapos combine na natin dito sa kabila x plus 4x is 5x minus 2 Plus standard form na lipat na natin to the other side copy nyo muna yung x squared then, linear terms, negative 2x. Tapos, may linear terms sa kabila. Okay, lipat lang natin. Minus 5x. 
Tapos, copy nyo yung positive 8. Tapos, may constant term sa kabila, negative 2. Lipat lang natin. Plus 2. Equal to 0. Ayan. Simplify lang natin. Again, combine like terms. Copy ulit ang quadratic term kasi wala naman siya kaparehas. And then, ang, ang ikakombine na lang natin yung linear term na dalawa dito, yung negative 2x minus 5x. So, that is now, the same sign sila, negative 7x. After that, uh, we, we combine naman the constant terms, 8 plus 2. So, that is plus 10 equal to 0. So, this is now a quadratic equation in standard form. x squared minus 7x plus 10 equal to 0. So, after that, pwede na natin gamitin yung factoring method. Factoring method yung pitakamadali kapag ganito lang klase. Kapag hindi nyo kayang isipin yung mga factors, pwede na mong gumamit ng completing the square or the quadratic formula. So, get the factors of this. We have x times x. Tapos, factor of 10 na kapag kinambay natin, makakuha natin is negative 7. So, that is, I think, negative 5 and negative 2. So, check natin. Negative 5 times negative 2 is positive 10. And then, negative 5 minus 2, dahil same sign sila, negative 7. So, pag okay na yung factors, zero product property tayo, uh, solve them separately now. x minus 5 equal to 0. And x minus 2 equal to 0. So, get x sub 1. Dipat ang negative 5, magiging positive 5. So, that is the first solution. And then, x sub 2. Dipat ang negative 2, magiging positive 2. So, this is the other solution. So, therefore, the solution of the given rational equation, x plus 8 over x minus 2 equal to 1, plus 4x over x minus 2 are positive 5 and positive 2. So, th these are the equations, yung examples number 1 to 5 natin, these are the equations that not quadratic in form but can be transformed into a quadratic equation. So, using the different properties, pwede natin silang i-transform into a quadratic equation. Kapag naka-quadratic equation na sila, convert lang natin into standard form. Pag naka-standard form na, we are free to use na any of the method of solving quadratic equation para makuha natin yung roots or solution or the values of x sub 1 and x sub 2. Okay, that's it for the lesson in transforming or transfer equations transferable into quadratic equations. So, thank you for listening. See you again in the next lesson. We're going to discuss problem solving involving quadratic equations. So, in that lesson, we're going to apply our knowledge here in transforming equations to quadratic equations. So again, thank you for watching. This is Sir Phil and this is Sir Phil's channel.